Hi, it's Nika from Fabulously Creative and today I just wanted to come and show you a quick, not so much a flip through, but just how I use my mini happy planner. And as you can see, it is very thick. And these are the expander. I just upgraded to the expander rings. Let me just show you the difference. These are the rings that the mini happy planner comes on. And then from there, I went to the, what is it called? The memory planner rings. That's the second size. And I'm not sure because I never tried the classic, but you can see how much space I have in my planner. So I'm just show you a flip through like how exactly I use this planner, why it is so thick. Like, is it really necessary? Yes, it is. I love this. I love this little planner. And basically, I have it on the expander rings because I know I, I actually should use a bigger planner. But I like the convenience of this mini size. This comes in the grocery store with me. It comes with me shopping. It comes with me everywhere. And I can't do that with a big planner. So, to start off, let me just show you my dividers. It comes with, I think it comes with the months, but I took those out. The base, Basically, the only thing I have original to the planner is the cover and this calendar that it comes with. So let me just show you how I use it. I have the weeks, months, these are just like the dividers I made. Let me just show you each divider. Like this is a, the weeks and this is just scrapbook paper and I cut that that sits on top of that divider. So the first divider is my weeks and then on top of my months, I have like a little dashboard for some sticky notes. I actually have two pages of sticky notes. So that's the months. And from there, I have a meal planning tab. I'm going to just show you how I do my meal planning with this planner. Like I normally do it for two weeks at a time. I just have each day what I plan on cooking that day. Like if I'm cooking or if we're eating out. And then on this side, I divide my shopping list by produce, meat, frozen, dairy. And I, I shop in Walmart, so this is kind of how Walmart is set up. And then I have just those aisles on the side. And then like cleaning and health and beauty. Like I think Walmart says health and beauty aids or something. But I have, that's how I have my shopping list broken down. So I can get in and get out because I hate 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 being in Walmart then I go into my budget section and write I just write my write my budget in that section then I have a section for wish list oh and these dividers I actually made all of these from scrapbook paper let me just see if I can give you a close-up like how they it's just cut up scrapbook paper and I made these little and of course my camera won't zoom I'll try to zoom later but I just cut these from scrapbook paper and some of them I decorated some of them I didn't and in my wish list these are just punched what is this they're not sticky notes those notepads from the target dollar spot and I just have this is my craft wish list which scrapbook kits I want to get which punches I want to get things like that and I just have another wish list with everything that I need to buy. In this section, we go into my home projects. And this was just a chipboard, piece of chipboard, um, one of those things. And I peeled the chipboard off the back and just glued it on there. And in this section, I just, I mainly use it for home projects, like projects that need to be done around the house, which I haven't done too much in this section. And in this section is just content and blog, my blog. Like this section, I actually use it to write blog posts, which, as you can see, is empty because I'm, I'm not exactly up to date on that. And then I have a section for YouTube videos, just all the videos that I want to, want to record, which ones I've edited. And then I have a section for mailing list for my website. 
design ideas for my shop. You like as you can I basically I can organize my entire life with this little fat planner. Things I want to stock in the shop, orders. This one says what does that say? Oh, places to go. And I actually need to redo this one because like this is just cardstock, it's not laminated. And this section, I don't know, it's more of kind of like a mood board. I used to do this in my traveler's notebook. It's kind of like a mood board slash vision book. I just have it titled Vision. Like the first page, let me just show you. I have this little pocket and I kind of decorated this page. And in this little pocket, I have extra dividers. Not dividers. The little tab labels. If I need to make a new divider or change it. And then just some, some cut apart, just little things that I have cut apart for some decorating on the go. Oh, and this little piece of clear plastic, that is a Project Life insert that I just cut down and glued, glued to this divider. I'm gonna peel this off because I don't want you to see this. And like in this section, I have my goals. This little, and I, I don't know, I kind of call this my creative planning pages. And let me tell you, the page came out so nice that I never actually wrote my goals on it. They're wrote on this little sticky note. And in here, I just have like pictures from Pinterest and stuff. And I won't show you all of those. Let me just show you. At the end, it's mostly just like pictures. Oh, I do want to show you one page. This is, let me see, I have like a wardrobe wish list. Things that I want to sew and things that I want to buy. Let me see if it's in, if I can find it. Oh, and then these are sewing patterns. I went online and I looked at which which patterns I want to sew. And I will I'll go on Pinterest and just find like I don't know dresses I like and then I'll go find the sewing pattern for it. And this is a picture of all the sewing patterns. So one of my goals for this year was to get back into sewing. And this little pocket, I got that from Tuesday morning. I think it's for the Carpe Diem planners or the Reset Girl. I know it's from the Reset Girl. And let me just show you what I have in the back. I keep this on the back page. And it's just like a template with extra dividers. And it comes in a set of five. And I just keep that in there like in case I want to make a divider on the go or add a new section. I don't have to wait until I get home to do it. And basically, I just trace cardstock. And if you are on my mailing list, check your inbox. You should have gotten you should have gotten this uh, template in your inbox if you want to make if you want to make some of these dividers. And now back to my weekly layouts. Let me show you how like how I actually plan. Let me go back to my week section. Oh, and I have this little envelope. This is just, I always say it wrong, glass lane or glass, glassine bags. And all I did was punch it with a happy punch. And it just has different little cutouts in there for some decorating on the go. Or if I want to add or change one of the dividers. Like I said, this is the... This is the calendar that came with the Happy Planner. And this is normally what, what my, I don't, don't really decorate my monthly layout. So this is normally what my monthly layout looks like. I just write a few things and what videos I want to upload. And then I'm just going to do a quick flip through of like my weekly, my weekly layouts. I'm gonna go kind of quick because I don't know what's all on here. So, <laughs> I 
All right, this one does, this week didn't have too much personal stuff, so I'll just show you how I use it. So the insert comes with like the morning, morning, afternoon, and evening blocks. And my morning is basic like what my morning routine or whatever errand I have to run in the morning before work. And I normally try and upload like before I leave out in the morning. So it has like what day, what video or whatever I want to upload that day. And then like this is my break or what I plan to do in the middle of the day or whatever errands. And then the evening is usually when I put the list boxes. And it's normally like pick up items, cook, do homework with my son. Thursday night is craft night. And then this box right here, I always put my Project Life notes, like whatever, my Project Life or just any memory keeping notes, anything that I want to remember, I put it in this box. And then my to-dos for the week and the trackers in this side box. I'm just doing just a quick flip through. Oh, and I do like to punch like if I need an extra space to write things I do punch little pieces of paper and this is what it looks like when I do not get around to doing my layout for the week I feel I just feel unorganized and it's just a bunch of stuff written everywhere and I do like to punch Project Life cards to put in there. And as you can see, this is a week that I started on. Like if I get started and I don't like the way it's coming out, I will skip it because my week will not go out. My week will not go right if like my layout is ugly. <laughs> if that makes any sense. And again, a Project Life card. Because it matched it, I needed to write a few extra things in there. And my camera cut off. Sometimes I have like sticky notes if I have lots of extra things. And as you can see, this was a very productive week. Like the more the more is written, the more produ productive the week was. And as you can see, I write a lot in these little boxes. And I did I did a plan with me for this week. And I do go back like act after the fact and add things like I think these are some new stickers I'm working on for my shop so I'd like add little bits during the week like for this week I don't know Monday wasn't a good day so I just stuck that no post-it note because nothing got done and I do keep like I keep extra paper just blank grid paper you can use just buy a graph paper, cut it down and punch it. I keep extra paper like if I need to make a quick a quick note to go in the store like what's on here? Like soap dish liquid. And when I bring this in the store with me, if I'm not doing like my full grocery list, I will take this out and just put it on the top. That way I don't have to open it while I'm in the store and I'll just clip it onto the top. But if I'm doing my like my full shopping list, I will open it to the meal planning page. And let me see. I think this is where I left off. I'm not sure if I did a plan with me for that one. Yeah, this is where I left off. And this is how it looks. I know if I don't get around to decorating. Like my week is just not as productive. So I hope you enjoyed that little flip through. How I use my planner. How it is set up. And remember if you're on my mailing list. If you're on my mailing list, I emailed these um, these little divider templates if you want to make these dividers. And I will see you in my next video.